Hey Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. Jake, it's good to be home. It's good to be. Oh yeah, you were gone. Yeah, last week. I know. Uh, you you actually did a great job on the video. Yeah, yeah Andrew. Uh, yeah. The day y'all did that, we got a lot of snow. You don't know we what were. day we did it, so how do you know? I don't. I know because it got snow. Could have done it on Monday. Could have done it on Tuesday. Could have do, done it on Wednesday. I know you didn't do it on Monday. So uh, we actually did it on Wednesday. Well, I had a lot of snow. Wednesday of last Wednesday. week. A lot of snow last week. And today Wednesday. is Wednesday as well. It is but Wednesday. you may be watching this on Thursday, or you may be watching Friday. this on Friday, or, Saturday. or you may be watching this on Saturday, or you may be sitting in the sanctuary right now waiting for service to start. So watching. We, we got a lot to We got a lot to go. Talking. Yeah. So why don't Let you me start with stuff. what's going to be happening this Sunday after church. Women facing cancer together meets in person. Good. After church in room A101 in the back hallway. Uh, if you are watching this on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, and you want to know how to get in touch with Sherry Sims, send me an email, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com, and I'll, and I'll hook you up with that. Yes, sir. Also, this Sunday, I'm looking at my, uh, at my list here, you are going to have an opportunity to invite somebody to come to our Easter services. Hey, hey I'm actually going to preach on that right there okay. on Sunday. So we have made we our somebody. children's ministry has made these you've been egged. There's not real eggs in here that be against the law. Plastic eggs and what you do is you go to somebody's house, you hide the eggs in their yard and then you hang a little thing on their door that says you've been egged. Uh, so they can go look for the eggs that have been hidden in their yard That's and good. it's a personal invite to our Easter services. So pick this up this Sunday, and then sometime between Sunday and probably Friday-ish, go to somebody's house that you know that you want to invite to Summit. All the instructions are in here. It's gonna be cool. Hey, you, you could burn me to real eggs. I like real eggs. And speaking of Easter, two Easter services. Two. Nine o'clock. Nine and 10. Yep. No, nine and nine 11. 11. Nine and 11. Nine o'clock, nine and 11 o'clock. Nine o'clock, 11 o'clock. Yeah, buddy. Two services, mm -hmm. Easter mm -hmm. Sunday. So if you like uh, more of the brunch service, you come to the 11. If you like a really early service, you come to the 9. Uh, most people like to come to that 11 o'clock. So some of you guys that are regulars, come to the 9 o'clock. Yeah, Open up some space. Chairs for us uh, at the 11. So it's going to be good. Yeah. Right, I'm excited. What else we got, bud? Uh, also, your kids will have an opportunity. If your kids are in the children's ministry, they'll be able to pick up a Holy Week activity set that Those you so cool. and your kids and your family can kind of walk through next week leading up to Easter. And then I know you got some stuff you want to mention. We got some stuff with a uh, youth coming up, barbecue, car show, and you've got some car show in April. Some stuff you know he somebody, wants to talk about. You know somebody that's got a hot rod, got a motorcycle, got um, what anything they want to put in a car show, uh, boat, uh, not really. Uh, That'd boat, be fun. But, but cars, trucks, motorcycles, April the 28th, we're going Sunday after church. We're going to do it actually in the front of the church, uh, fill that front parking lot up with hot rods and motorcycles and uh, have people come by, eat Freddy Ray barbecue. Uh, so it's gonna be a fundraiser for our student ministry. Students are gonna be out there working. So go ahead and put the word out right now. Got a hot rod, get it cleaned up, get it ready for that Sunday on the 28th. Um, hot rod, car show, barbecue, Kona ice. Hang on, this year, I, I'm sending this out, Robbie White. I know you got your old school El Camino. El Camino. El Camino. But I want you to bring the golf cart this year. He, no, he the El Camino. No, he bring, the El bring Camino. both. He okay. built a golf cart that looks exactly like the real El Camino when you see them side by side. It's bring crazy good. Bring yeah. them both. I'm calling you out, Robbie White. Bring yep. them both. Yep, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I know some of you guys, a couple weeks ago, we honored uh, Rhonda and Alan Sanders. Uh, been with us for 20 years. They were part of the original group that started Summit Heights. The OGs. Uh, even before I came here. Yeah, and you're so not an OG. Been, been, I'm not a lot an of OG. people don't know that. I'm not an OG. I'm, I'm an OG. I came you're six not. months afterwards. Yeah. Uh, it started. So uh, they, they have moved and they're moved, moved down the back room. Right. So that kind of opens up a couple of slots in our elder uh, body. Uh, we lost Paul Rogers a couple years ago. Uh, Russ Kearns moved uh, to the Metroplex. 
Now, uh, Alan has moved down to Baton Rouge, and so we are looking to add three new elders. And so on April the 7th, we're going to introduce three men to you that we've been actually working with, Jake, for about a year and a half. Uh, Between conversations, between uh, trips that we've been on, Bible studies that we've been doing together, we've gotten to know these men, know their wives. And so we're going to be presenting to you three men on April the 7th. Uh, be looking for that. We have packet work put together. Then April the 14th, we're going to do affirming those men uh, as elders. So if you have any questions or any uh, thing that you want to speak to us, current elders, about these men and their lives, that's going to be your opportunity to do so. These are known men in our community. Uh, of believers in our body, so it's not going to be a surprise to you who these guys are. Now, some of you may not know it because our church, a lot of people here. Yep. And, and so that's going to be your opportunity to get to know them, uh, ask questions of us, them, all that good stuff, and uh, affirm them and what we believe God has called them to to be a part of our body. So uh, excited about that, Jake. It's kind of a change uh, as we move forward. And uh, so you guys be looking for that. What else, bud? I think that's it. Uh, well, how far, how, what time is it? It's uh, six minutes. Yeah, I don't have anything else. We're not in the seven minute range. We're going to start worship in about five minutes. I'm excited this morning. It's Holy Week. Uh, and uh, this, we're building up to the greatest event that's ever taken place. It defines everything that we believe and everything that we're about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, that one event alone, Jake, changed everything. And so we're heading up to that this week, talking about Holy Week today on Sunday. If you're watching this, we're going to start worship in five minutes. But before we do, share this on your platforms. Get the word out. Text somebody, call somebody, invite somebody to church this uh, Sunday. And, uh, and then also go fishing for next week with the eggs. So uh, love you, Summit. Good to be home. Thanks for letting me vacation. We're going to start worship in five, four, three, two, one. Start the countdown, guys.